Hello everybody, welcome to Alien Statue Collector. Today I have a grail of a piece to review. This is the life-size uh, queen face hugger from Alien 3, produced by Sideshow with collaboration with Studio ADI. Um, this was a cast from the original mold um, made by Studio ADI for the Alien 3 movie. Uh, this one wasn't featured in the movie. It was, however, in the director's cut. And it doesn't show it in action. It just shows one of the prisoners holding uh, this uh, face hugger, which is dead. Um, and this uh, face hugger was actually designed by H.R. Giger. And uh, it was, he basically, he would call it the super... Uh, face hugger um, as part of the new alien creatures life cycle Giger also created this super face hugger which was based on his old face hugger design this new creature evolved from one of the first scripts um, that had the creature swimming so he would draw webbings in between the fingers and also webbing along the fingers instead in another version, enabling it to swim. So he designed a few versions trying to give this features, uh, this creature features to, for it to swim. Um, and uh, it would be as if the creature had, you know, some type of abil ability to transform so as to adapt to the local environment. Apparently there was supposed to be uh, a planet where uh, most of it was covered in water. Um, so yeah, and, and there are drawings that H.R. Giger did, which I will post so you guys can see. And his drawings, uh, we would see how it was supposed to be big enough to wrap itself around the muzzle of the ox um, before you know um before coming out so um instead of the dog it was supposed to be an ox to be impregnated and uh and this is a quote from hr giger himself i also created a super face hugger which is based on the old design one of the first scripts uh had it swimming so i visualized how it would move the fingers would retract so that it would crawl just under the water's surface. Basically calling it the aquatic face hugger. So I'll post a sketching so you guys can take a look. It's so cool. H.R. Uh, Giger basically drew this and Studio ADI did produce it but didn't really use it in the movie. All right, so what is the significance and ability of the queen facehugger? What it does, um, it carries two embryos and it has to impregnate two hosts, one for the queen and one for the protector alien. Um, when the queen alien escapes the planet LV-426 and aboards the Salako, it lays its uh, final egg to ensure the survival of the alien species before it's thrown into space uh, when Ripley and the survivors of the aliens movie are in the cryo sleep the egg hatches and the queen face hugger breaks into Ripley's uh, cryo chamber and it impregnates her uh, with the queen alien embryo but you know a fire starts and it causes the Salako to crash land on the um, prison planet and on the prison planet the queen face hugger searches for the uh, searches for um, another a second host to impregnate it, uh, it with the uh, embryo of the protector alien um, which uh, is the dog and it impregnates the dog which comes the dog alien to protect um, and ensure the survival of the 
queen alien and the survival of the alien species. So this specific one I was able to find is the repainted version by uh, Rafael Robledo. Um, he's uh, um, a very well-known member. He's a painter and artist. Uh, he also repairs statues as well. I've followed his channel. Um, he does a lot of repaints and uh, repairs and reworks. So you guys get a chance, you guys can follow his uh, Facebook page. Um, so yeah, now let's uh, take a look at this magnificent piece here. Cast from the original Studio ADI mold. Definitely a grail. It's just like the Sideshow Dog Alien Rod Puppet Maquette. It's as right up there with that one as far as being uh, labeled as a grail. So yeah, so here's the base, you know, rocky. Just simple stones. And here she is. Just magnificent. You can see the the webbing. Some veins here. And actually, these this is translucent, as you can see my fingers here. Yeah. Has a uh, black black nails on each finger. Some design like a black stripe design there. These are like. It's two kind of like pincers uh, would defend itself, I guess. Um, in uh, Alien 3, you see uh, one of the prisoners, he has a dog and then he finds his dog w with his mouth all torn and, and bleeding. And he's like, what kind of an animal would do this to a dog? So. I would I, I would think that this thing before attaching itself to the dog it kind of uh, attacked it first and cut its mouth with these pincers here. So let's so look at that paint. It's just freaking amazing. Yeah, Raphael, he's a master. Give it, he's giving it that wet look. Look, it looks alive. Like I look at it, it's like it's going to attack me at any time. You see that the design is pretty cool. It has like these rigid spine spikes that works all the way around on the tail here. It has this tip, almost like a scorpion. This is like a stance how a scorpion would uh, take a pose to attack, similar to that. See these, uh, I think these are for it to breathe when it's underwater. And, um, H.R. Giger refers to it as the super face hugger, but um, I guess it's also called the queen face hugger or royal face hugger as well. Look at that. It's hard to get under here. There we go. Got all that fleshy tone there.
Yeah. That's how it attaches itself to the host's face. Yeah. And this is the rod that it holds it. Has a bit of a paint paint chip there. I can just, you know, color that in. You gotta remember, this is almost 20 years old, so, and a very hard piece to find. So cool. And this is like one of those once in a lifetime pieces because um, the, you know, the original mold from Studio ADI, you know, there's, I don't think there's gonna be a statue company that will collab with Studio ADI to cast it again. Um, yeah, so this is one of those once in a lifetime pieces. It's the only face hugger from Alien 3 you would ever need. Now, if you guys have been following my Alien Statue Collector page, um, I did post pictures of the new Prime 1 XL Dog Alien that they're releasing, and it's very cool. Um, that's definitely coming to the collection. And their bonus part to that statue is um this royal face hugger but at a smaller scale of course so yeah i might not get the exclusive because i don't need the face hugger i already have this so but i will definitely be getting that xl dog alien it's gonna join in the collection yeah Just incredible. Um, there's a one negative about this statue, which um, basically it is this, uh, the rod here. Um, it's, it's a rod, it goes in and it attaches here. However, uh, it it wobbles and it it turns see i don't like that it wobbles but yeah a lot of other collectors had the same issue so this is just uh it's how it's made it's not perfect you just got to be careful not to shake you know the uh the shelf or anything um yeah That's it, that's the only negative. Um, does not take away from the beauty of this statue. She is freaking gorgeous. And uh, I plan to do some uh, redesign of, of the shelf that I have. I'm trying to display this puppy together with, with this one, so next to each other two of the best once in a lifetime ever statues out there so yeah that's the plan for the collection and i am planning to buy the xl dog alien so i will have three three dog aliens i don't know if i want to sell my prime one one third dog alien i don't know we'll see once it's announced, uh, it'll probably take two years for it. So it'll probably, collectors will start getting their statues probably in 2027, maybe in the beginning of 2027. So yeah, guys, there it is. The review for the Sideshow Studio ADI life-size queen facehugger from Alien 3. Just beautiful. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And thank you for your support. Take care.